Hey, well, good night. How's it going? I just jumped out of the shower, so, you know. I had something very profound on my mind. And as soon as I dried my hair, like, ish. It's like I just rubbed it out. Who the fuck would don't? That's fucking life. Jeez, motherfucker. I'm also doing this because somebody told me to put a shirt on. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I don't know. I think it might have been because of me profile on the <laughs> Eddie. Theodore Rose account that I also use, so um, no, fuck it. I like going naked. Fucking all natural. In fact, I'm just gonna walk out. I hope nobody's home. Anyone home? Sweet. the way we should be, man. Nudity is just the best. Clothes are for chumps. Sending into the underworld here. <laughs> Down where the fish dwell. Oh, the light's a bit faded now. Jeez, the light was beautiful here before I went and jumped in the shower. It was just golden. Just glorious. Fucking beautiful. How good is it to be alive, eh? How good is it? So anyway, if you um look on my Facebook page, I'm back on the original one now at the moment. Well, um, Mr. Eddie T. Rose is on the um a three day holiday. They give Ross Thatcher 30 days, but Mr. Eddie T. Rose now, he just gets three. That's up from 24 hours, that is 24 hours. Now I get three lots of 24 hours, what's that, 72 or something? Who knows? Who cares? The thing is, <coughs> I've been clearing the shit out of my sinuses <laughs> so that's something something you should pay attention to because if you look up the traditional um, definition traditional definition of Corona, coronavirus, it's common cold. And yet, this is like the year 2020, apparently. <laughs> Just rolled my knuckle and my elbow on that table and it is smarting a little. <laughs> So this is the year 2020, apparently, and yet modern science has come so far, they can't even cure the common cold, and what's more, the common cold is this year's epidemic that has shut down society, destroyed the economy, closed down hundreds if not thousands of small businesses and stopped people from traveling internationally. The common cold. So that's why as a um, naturopath, a lot of people will smirk at that word, naturopath. It's like uh, actually you guys are the witch doctors. 
the witch doctors are the the ones selling you snake oil. Big pharma, big oil, bullshit. Never a cure. Whereas the naturopath knows exactly, well, knows many different methods of how to treat the symptoms of a common cold. But the number one is to just blast it the fuck out your nose. Get that mucus out. This is what Arnold Errett, the founding father, you know, he's the Hippocrates, basically, of naturopathy. He was around in, uh, his professor, Arnold Errett, was around in the 1900s, and he released, or published several books, The Mucusless Diet Healing System. So every time you're getting rid of mucus, you're healing. And that's what the common cold is basically doing. You're getting rid of mucus out of your body system. And where do you get the mucus? Well, you get it from eating dairy and dead animal flesh and eggs. Eggs are nothing but 100% pure mucus. Um, most vegetables are pretty safe. You're pretty right. You know, you want to steer clear of uh, white rice, white starchy potatoes. Most everything else is full of enough fibre to attach to the mucus to expel it out the other end. It's much more pleasurable when you've got this <laughs> cold a common cold for which there is no cure apart from bed rest and expel the mucus <coughs> like honestly I, I spent longer in the shower than I should have because I just kept sneezing and blowing the mucus out um, one of the things that can help <coughs> is a product called lecithin, L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N, lecithin. You can get it from the soy plant, not so good. You can also get it from the sunflower plant, probably also not so good, because they're probably both genetically modified. But Either way, the lecithin, both those plants produce in the seed is a very good adjuvant for breaking down mucus. So if you do insist on eating dead animals or the flesh of dead animals um, then having a bit of lecithin does help to break it down. As does actually, believe it or not, a little bit of um, I can't even think of the scientific term. I know it's got one. NC something fucking or other. Just alcohol. Ethanol. Fermented sugar. It's actually quite good at breaking down mucus and parts of the dead animal flesh that our bodies can't take care of. So, you know, if you're going to have a steak, then have a beer or a glass of wine or something to wash it down. It will, it will actually help. You know, Mother Nature's pretty clever. That's how she looks after us. Anyway, it's getting dark, so I'm down here in the dungeon. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? Hard to believe it's getting dark. And yet, here in the dungeon, it's still so light. The sun has set, like, an hour ago. Why didn't... Why aren't we suddenly plunged into shade? 
Can a globe tart ever tell me that? Ah, <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. Feels good to get rid of this mucus. Can a globe tart tell me why here in this dungeon I'm not suddenly plunged into darkness the moment the sun went behind the hills over there if now I'm in the shade. You know, in daylight, you get into the shadow of something. The shadow is instantly dark. And anyway, I guess it's... You know, it, it's a workaround. I guess we can... Oh, call it exposure. Don't look down. Could be an exposure issue. <laughs> YouTube would oh, block me. Oh man. Oh god. Oh. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. Be the sad man. Oh god. Alright, oh, it's nothing beats brushing the day's work out of your hair after a shower. Oh. Yeah. Alright. I'm a different man now. I feel ten hundred percent better. Right out. So there was a point to this video, and the point is, I'm going out and have a fucking beer. Anyone coming? I might even. I might even. I was thinking of having a, a schnitty. Now I'm thinking twice, because I'm all for that ranting I just said about expelling all that mucus and shit. Um, but chicken is neutral. It's not like dead mammals. You know, dead cows and sheeps and... What's the other one? Pigs. Pigs. God, I can't believe anybody wants to eat pigs. Can you believe that some places even put a slice of dead pig onto the schnitty and they call it a palmy <coughs> or palma I don't know palma palmy all I can say is pass don't put dead pig on my food I don't even say please don't put dead pig on my food I will fucking hunt you down and fucking strangle your heart. Okay, I won't do that. I'll let you go with a warning. After you give me my money back and I never spend any at your place ever again. Hey, Paulie. Hey, Paulie. <laughs> How you going, Paulie? Paulie from the Bengali Chinese. And his mates next door, Bang Burgers did the same thing. They fucked up my order. I ordered a chicken burger, the one without the bacon. And my son wanted the one with the bacon. So that's cool. If he wants to eat the bacon, I've got no problem with that. He can eat the bacon. But they put the fucking bacon on my burger and I'm halfway through eating it before I realised. Holy fucking shit was I pissed off. Just don't put dead pig on my food. And we're all good. <laughs> as simple as that. You know, fuck. You want to eat dead pig? Go ahead. Eat 
all the damn pig you like. Apparently pork is um fucking disgusting. The other white meat. And human is long pork. So if you're eating pig, you may as well be a cannibal. But hey, each to their own. Who am I to judge? I'm just flat earth, Aussie Roscoe. See you later.